This is a youth leadership conference, not just an environmental leadership conference. My name is Andrew Pringle. Here in the Pacific Northwest, we're working to identify a series of experiences for youth along a pathway to stewardship. North Cascades Institute, the National Park Service, the United States Forest Service, the Student Conservation Association, and a number of other organizations are working in partnership to engage promising and influential young leaders in an effort to create lifelong public land advocates and to cultivate diversity in the next generation of staff for our agencies and organizations. The Youth Leadership Conference is a stop along this pathway that serves to reconnect student leaders with their experiences from educational programs on public lands in the region. Students apply to attend the three-day weekend event hosted by North Cascades Institute at the Environmental Learning Center. The conference allows students to reconnect with nature as well as the friends and trip leaders they met on their programs while making new friendships with other students from diverse backgrounds. Importantly, students network with an array of organizations in an effort to look forward to what's next. Throughout the weekend's activities, students are challenged to articulate their goals in an action plan that outlines strategies for getting into college, seeking out internships, and applying for jobs. Between the group activities that you'll see here, the 60 plus students and 30 plus adult partners break off into small groups to bond along naturalist walks and to talk about their plans. Ultimately, each student leaves the conference with a mentor that will support them during the year following the conference to check in on action plans, brainstorm solutions to challenges, and to help connect them to new developmental opportunities. And then May 1st, who knows what you have to do on May 1st? Decision. Decision. Decide what school you're going to, right? Um, and then you can tell me the last one. My name is Karina Haynes, and I'm a planning team member of the Youth Leadership Conference. So the breakout sessions are really key elements to our youth leadership conference and we're giving the kids skills to build on with their leadership styles that they're developing. We're giving them public speaking skills, how to apply for college, how to apply for jobs, how to interview for jobs, how to network with each other, how to connect with nature. They're all very passionate about what they're doing and they're all, they have a lot of vigor and providing a path of you know, tangible expectations and tangible goals really helps them to see that it's possible to attain all those goals. So we're teaching them how to become good citizens of our country and of our planet. My name is Miriam and I attended Mountain School 2011, spring. The breakout sessions that I did, they're very diverse. There are tons of them and they're all different. An example is um, planning a camping trip and then there are some that are a little bit deeper, such as environmental injustice. And we just learned how to navigate on that spectrum. My name is Benji Howard and I'm one of the co-directors and artists with uh, New Wilderness Project. We're musicians and poets and we use a multimedia approach so we use a lot of video images and photography to convey a message around stewardship, connecting to the landscape, leadership, and there's a really strong social justice diversity component to our art so we try to really blend these different conversations around connecting to one another across difference at, at the same time we're talking about connecting to the landscape protecting the landscape um, and we try to have that conversation through an artistic lens in the hopes that we're kind of inspiring young people to not just think about these things but really feel as well. The conference is going great. I am, from this weekend, I hope to come out with a better understanding of how civil engineering and nature go together. The Opportunity Fair is an important part of the Youth Leadership Conference because it's something that the kids are asking for. These youth are asking us, what can they do next? They've had a defining experience here uh, in the North Cascades, and they want to know what can they do next. Is there an internship? Is there a job? Is there another educational experience? This is the second youth conference, and I've seen a great evolution. Uh, the kids are coming, and they're being very direct. They're, very, they're being very clear in asking for uh, experiences. They want to know. Uh, 
we need to do some sort of experience that'll look good on a college resume. I need to be able to do something that's going to get me experience, that's going to set me up for a job. I need to be able to make money so that I can pay for school or support my family. And the organizations that are here are being very clear with the kind of opportunities that they're presenting, whether or not they're educational programs, or their internships, uh, or their paid experiences. My name is Heather Ellis, and I participated in the Cascades Climate Challenge in 2010. It was actually really great just to go hiking again, but I'm also getting a lot done at this opportunity fair that's going on here. I've potentially found a summer job or two. I am definitely looking into colleges right now, so I feel like this is providing me with a lot of good opportunities to get ready for college and what comes after college, definitely, like getting work experience and there and beyond. So it, it's really great to connect with people who share similar like goals and visions that I do. So. My name is Annika Singlab. I'm the Climate Challenge Program Coordinator for North Cascades Institute. We were fortunate enough this year to have 14 different organizations represented at our Opportunity Fair, which is providing students with different opportunities to continue their engagement with the natural world, both with stewardship, higher education, and nonprofit organizations working towards the conservation of Northwest environments. What we found out last year was that all of these partners were coming to this one place and weren't really able to network with each other. So this year we decided to make a forum that would allow partners to talk amongst themselves to create a network of opportunities throughout the Pacific Northwest that together build a bridge between different programs in order to engage youth along their whole lifetime. There are not a lot of young adults going around talking about issues like this, so when there are big groups or even one person or two people talking about it, it makes it my name is Kate Rinder and I was on the planning team for the Youth Leadership Conference and I'm a graduate student with North Cascades Institute. Open Space is a self-directed discussion space and so we had two hours this morning where the students came up with their own topics and are being in small group discussions without any adult interaction and the reason we wanted to do this is that it's a youth leadership conference and while we've been talking about leadership all weekend we wanted the students to have an opportunity to practice that themselves and to talk about things that are really important to them. We can suggest ideas and plan the conference in a way that we think will be meaningful but in the end, the students are the ones that have to make the conference what's going to be best for them. And so this space at the end of the conference is a time for them to really maximize that and to step forward and practice their leadership. Wild. I've, like before and in high school, I wasn't even sure if I was going to graduate. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I wanted to drop out. Like being able to experience nature and being able to create bonds with everyone, that was truly an amazing experience for me. So I got to work in the plant nursery, and the year after that, I came back as that group's crew leader, which were both really great opportunities, and then I was invited to stay as a student hire. And as far as choosing those opportunities, I think you just have to be open to them and accepting them, and people are reaching out to us as this group of students, um, people who are here, people are definitely reaching out to us. And just when people are giving you those opportunities and really supporting you to just grab onto them and kind of just take that ride, like, it's scary, but like, hey, you want to devote your whole summer to being outside, which can be frightening at some point if you have other stuff going on, but to just grab onto it and see where it takes you. It's my advice. I've never been able to be in the outdoors, so it's like created a passion for me, and it's made me want to bring more youth out to the wilderness, and I don't know, let others experience it, because it's amazing, it's beautiful, and I love it. It's cool. The environment and your health are pretty related, if you think about it. You know, if you live, live in, a, you know, you know, in a polluted environment, it's going to impact your health. So, and that's one of the reasons why I've, been, I've uh, grown an interest for public health, because you, you, in public health, you do a lot of prevention, and that also involves, you know, cleaning up the environment and, and things like that, you know, like having clean water, you know. Um, so, yeah, just kind of figure out how you can combine both. So, so that you can you know, have an enjoyable career. So. Since 
I'm an athlete and I do sports that require a lot of time. Um, I, think, I think that what helped me manage all that I'm doing is having connections with your mentors and like your peers and like don't just take everything, don't just take a full plate of everything because it will be hard to manage and I learned that the hard way. So <laughs> just make sure you have someone that you can call up, email up, Facebook, whatever and say like, hey I need help, where do I start, where do I go, how can I handle this, I'm stuck or something. So. Don't just try to do it on your own, like, even with the full schedule, everything, it's still possible. Everything's possible. A lot of the teamwork skills and just uh, being out here, being this committed to something, it's going to help you a lot, um, no matter what career path you go down, whether it's really related to the environment or not. And also, just don't, don't underestimate it when you put it on a resume. Like when I. Well, oh, yeah. my internship was in the environmental field, but I know other people who have done um, similar like trail work internships, and they put it on their resume for business jobs, and the business people said they were really impressed by that, like that commitment that you were really out there and working, and it because you all have so many friends who are involved with it, uh, it might not seem that unique, but it really is. I want you to just listen to that wind and where we're at and where we are. I want all of you to remember this weekend and how special it's been. So think about the weekend. And I want to you to remember the time you spent in the park last summer and how special that was. And where you were. And I want all of you to think about the new people you have met here and during the summer. And what has that done to your lives? We've all had very unique and personal experiences. Experiences like no one else on this planet has had. And these are your special moments. And we all have these moments, and these moments are exclusively ours. But what you do with them is how we define ourselves as people. And by coming to this leadership conference, you have chosen to contribute and give back to something that you know 